Good evening, everyone. It's Wynn Brown here with Haywood Healthcare's COVID-19 update for Thursday, the 21st of May. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic day and this run of summer weather we're having. I just hope it sticks. I am so ready for summer to, to be here and uh, so we can all be outside and enjoy the great outdoors as we self-isolate and spend time with our families. So here's the scoop on our testing today. We've tested 4,248 patients. 3,670 of those folks are negative, 450 positive results, 56 indeterminate, and that drops our rate down to 10.8%, and the state is at 18.2. Worcester County's at a total of 9,780 cases so far, and uh, Franklin's just up one to 309. At Haywood, uh, we have eight inpatients who have tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, one of whom is in our, uh, two of whom are in our ICU. We have no patients under investigation right now, which is fantastic. Um, we're making sure that people who are, are getting their testing done, if they are positive, contact tracing is happening, and that is incredibly important to make sure that we have folks that have been in contact with positive patients to get tested. And we're seeing a bunch of that come through right now, and that's some of the positives that we're seeing are folks that are perhaps live with someone else who's positive. And so that's where the contact tracing is very important. Um, just want to let everybody know that um, we're going to have a new entrance control uh, piece at Haywood starting up um, next week um, for surgical day registration. We'll do that inside the main entrance of Haywood uh, where our food cart usually is and so that people can um, check in there versus lining up inside uh, our day surgery center. Um, there's updated entrance control script that is also on the internet for those of you who are door screeners for us and we still need some volunteers to sign up for our, our door uh, process as well. Uh, we do anticipate making changes to that next week but we're currently as we go so when you arrive make sure that you are communicating with heart and uh, answer the questions and gel in and go to work uh, and then make sure you gel out on the way out as well. Another piece, too, is starting on Tuesday. The annex parking lot across the street from Haywood Hospital is being repurposed. Uh, we are moving the testing tent that we have behind Urgent Care downtown in uh, Gardner uh, up to our campus so that we can expand that. So uh, we will do the uh, outside testing for uh, patients who come from our urgent cares and are referred to there. And then uh, we are planning on Thursday to uh, open, we'll also have surgical uh, candidates tested there as well. And then on Thursday, it is our target date to begin offering community-wide testing uh, with by appointment, but without a referral from uh, your primary care physician, we will have a referral set up for you if you are someone in the community who feels like you wanna know more about what's going on uh, with you and feel that you need to be tested, we will set that up. The beauty of having Haywood do the testing is that the results not only come back to you, but they go to your primary care physician and they automatically get populated. If you have a physician inside uh, the Haywood Healthcare family, your results automatically populate in your EMR and are, are not just faxed somewhere or, not, or don't go anywhere at all. So helps them with the continuum of care. So we're hoping that, that we can launch that on Thursday for the community by appointment. Uh, only um, over the course of the day so that we can spread out those appointments. So stay stay tuned for that. This is an exciting development for us as uh, testing begins to expand throughout our region and across the state. Um, also, uh, Don has a note here, managing anxiety, stress, and fear during COVID-19. The Crisis Prevention Institute um, has received high demand for their resources and they made them available to anyone um, who wants to access them from uh, staff, family, and friends. And a link is uh, with the email here for you to check those resources out along with our, on our self-care page on our website. Two thank yous tonight, one to Joy Racine and Crossroads Community Church in Fitchburg who donated 26 Bibles today, which is great because um, some of our drawers and some of our rooms, um, I, we are missing the Bibles because people took them home, which is perfectly fine. Uh, and also Barbara Robichaud made 30 masks today for the hospital. So thank you very much to everybody as we continue our journey to be one of the best community owned health systems as we tomorrow begin uh, looking at Memorial Day weekend and uh, obviously we'll be talking about honoring those who serve as well so thank you for everyone and I'll be back to you tomorrow have a good night